We are two weeks into the new year and seven people have died from a drug overdose in Montgomery County. That's according to the online overdose dashboard on Public Health Dayton and Montgomery County's website. The latest numbers from the county show the number of people dying from drugs last year jumped more than 3% from 2020. New Center 7's Haley Kosick spent time talking with a mental health professional who believes more treatment centers are needed in more communities. Here in Dayton's Huffman Historic District, this building's owner is planning a new drug treatment facility. The Montgomery County Alcohol, Drug Addiction and Mental Health Services supports roughly 50 mental and substance abuse providers in the county. People need access to quality treatment and that access can look different everywhere. Reese Ash says Montgomery County has been through a lot the last few years. So we have made great strides. But the pandemic obviously impacted people's mental health. That coming right on the heels of the tornadoes and the mass shooting in the Oregon district. In 2021, Public Health's Community Overdose Action Team confirmed 335 overdose deaths. In 2019, before the pandemic, the team said 288 people overdosed and died. We know people are struggling. They're stressed. They're dealing with anxiety, they're fearful, and those things all can lead to an increase of mental health issues and the use of substances. To help fight in the fight, Full Circle Recovery Services in Dayton is opening a drug treatment facility in the former Livingston Care Center on the city's east side. The CEO of the company is a former Dayton police officer who has responded to countless overdose calls. So I was on the side of thinking that the way we resolved addiction was to make more arrests. Now he says that is not the way you solve the problem. He believes his facility will give people who are serious about getting clean the resources to do so. Because we test our folks. We test them every week, sometimes twice a week as needed. We do random testing uh, because we want to make sure that if they're saying they're clean, they're clean. Admitted patients will have access to addiction assessment, clinical outpatient care, group counseling, and prescribed opioid addiction treatment like Suboxone. While the city's planning and zoning department has approved Pawelski's plan, some neighbors are upset and concerned. You can't change what's already been done. To ease their concerns, the city invited neighbors to a community informational meeting earlier this week. We're going to work towards making it as good as we can because clearly it's a done deal. But two days later, state your name and address for the record, please. Wendy Parker, 41 Livingston Avenue, Dayton. Parker thought she would try one more time to change city commissioners' minds, asking them to put the facility elsewhere. And she was not alone. Put it, put it in your neighborhood. Put it in y'all's neighborhood since everybody thinks that's so cool. By the playground. So what makes an area an acceptable place to put drug treatment centers in Montgomery County? Adamus says where one is simply needed. So if opening a new treatment facility in an area maybe that doesn't have others nearby can provide additional access to people in that neighborhood, we would think that's a good thing as long as that treatment provider is following all the rules and regulations. Some residents say they are going to make it work but still do not think it belongs in a residential area. Haley Kosick, News Center 7. Adamus does have an app people can use called Local Help Now to find a full list of mental and substance abuse providers in the community.